Hi guys, Wine Chuber here, and in today's video we're going to talk about what are tannins in wine. So, let's get started! This video was specially requested by Caitlin, so if you have any suggestions for the new video, please leave the comment below. And if you're watching my channel for the first time, please consider to subscribe! Tannins are chemical polyphenol compounds that can be found in many different plants, including nuts, tea, and of course grapes. In grapes, tannins can be found on skins, seeds, and stems. A part of that, tannins can come from the oak barrels during winemaking process and activities in the wine. Did you know that commercial tannins can be added to the red grapes before the fermentation? This process protects the wine from oxidation and stabilizes the color of the wine. Tannins are antioxidants and they play the key role in the aging of wine. Generally speaking, wines with higher amount of tannins such as Barolo or Bordeaux blends can age for longer. During aging process, tannins is precipitated which creates sediments that are natural byproduct of wine making. Well, tannins aren't something that you can taste, it's rather something that you can feel. Tannins give to the wine complexity, bitterness and astringency. Wines with high amount of tannins can really dry out your mouth and gives really strong bitter aftertaste. The best way to imagine a tannins is to make a really strong tea. Tea that was brewed for longer than 10 minutes is gonna have a really strong bitter aftertaste really high tannins. Tea that was brewed between 3 to 5 minutes is going to have a medium tannins. And tea that was brewed less than 1 minute is going to have a soft and silky tannins. By the way, wines with high amount of tannins we can describe as tannic. One of the main reasons why tannins are on the wine grapes is to protect the grapes from animals, especially birds, from eating them. The second reason why tannins are on the vine is to protect the grape from excess amount of sunlight. It's good to know that some grape varieties have higher amount of tannins than the other. For example, some red grape varieties such as Syrah, Tanat or Cabernet Sauvignon or Italian Nebbiolo, Sagrantino or Alianico or Portuguese Baga or either Spanish Tempranillo have really high amount of tannins. On the other side, if you prefer wines that are low in tannins, you should try Gamay, Mencia, Frappato, Dolcetto or Pinot Noir, especially New World Pinot Noir. White and Rosé also have tannins. In fact, all the wines have tannins just at the different levels. For example, skin contact white wine, also called orange wine, has significant amount of tannins. Some Rosé can be also tannic, especially those Rosé that produce from the tannic grape varieties. For example, Rosé produced by Bodega Felix Callejo called Claret is quite tannic as the grapes Tempranillo and Albio Mayor are pressed together. And this wine, by the way, is absolutely fantastic. There are three main types of tannins. High, medium and low. And those tannins can be also grippy, like for example, very young Barolo. Rounded, like lovely aged Rioja. Or silky, like burgundy, Pinot Noir. There are also two other types of tannins. Harsh, which is really dominate the wine, and stalky, almost green and unripe. The last two descriptions are quite negative, by the way. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and now you know what our tannins in wine actually means. By the way, don't miss out my next video about one of the best Montepulciano wine in the world called Kurni. So stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time!